Well, good morning. This is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred. It's a beautiful morning here in Pennsylvania. Today is Sunday, July 12th. It's around quarter of nine in the morning. It's a beautiful sunny morning. I thought what I would do is pick up where I left off last time. On the last video, I had zoomed in on the lean-to greenhouse up here. And so I thought we would take a walk up here and I could discuss the lean-to greenhouse, maybe share with you some tips and ideas on how I build it. I was up at five o'clock this morning and it amazes me the birds, how loud they are. They're very joyful and cheerful in the morning. They were that loud for about an hour and then they calmed down. But it's always beautiful being out in the garden, no matter what kind of day it is. So I wanted to stop here and show you these tomato cages. They're about four and a half feet high. I did use those in the greenhouse. That's a nice idea. I, I grew uh, cucumbers up them, but I took them out the other day because the grew cucumbers just grew so tall and spread out so much it was just taking over everything so I did take them out but it's a nice idea to grow your cucumbers up the uh, tomato cage you just turn them upside down and you have a nice little trellis but before I go in the greenhouse I just wanted to show you what I used to water the plants in the greenhouse because the lean-to greenhouse is about couple hundred feet from the water source at my house. What I use is these 55 gallon drums. They're plastic, they're very durable. They have a, I cut about a six inch hole in the top and I use this utility pump to pump uh, water out of the, the drums here and to water the plants. Now what I do is I in the early spring I use one of these utility pumps and hook up a couple hundred feet of hose and put the pump in our pond and so I fill both these drums up with water and the water in these drums is enough to water my garden for the whole summer so it's a nice way to be able to water your greenhouse if it's a far distance from your house so why don't we take a a walk over here and We'll take a look at the outside of the greenhouse. The uh, dimensions of this is seven foot by 16 foot. The uh, roof angle is about 45 to 50 degrees. And the reason I did that is because over the winter, I put like a four mil clear poly over the rafters there. And so it allows the snow to to move off the the angle it uh, that way I don't have to come all, come up here in the winter and brush off the snow but uh, what you see there is a cover right now it's called a row cover it's it's a spun bonded polyester and the nice thing about using this row cover on the greenhouse is that it allows the water through it allows the air to go through. It allows most of your sunlight. And so I don't have to really worry about ventilating this lean-to greenhouse. Like on your high hoop greenhouses, you know, they're generally 10, 12 feet wide, uh, 30, 40, 50 feet long, but they have the plastic over them. So you're always ventilating them uh, in the hot days of the summer. They also allow the bugs in. But here on this particular lean-to greenhouse with the row cover on top, I hardly have to water it because the rain just goes right through the covers. And again, the, the nice idea of not having the bugs go on my plants. Because the uh, yellow looper or the yellow butterfly, they lay the egg under the brassicas and then the looper worm, they just devastate your your greens and so and your cauliflower and your broccoli and your kale and so 
having everything inside the house here, you don't have to worry about spraying pesticides or herbicides or any sprays on your plants. I really like to emphasize organic growing here. And so if you notice too along the front of the lean-to greenhouse I have some wire fencing and what happened was I built this last summer so that I could uh, grow my greens right through the winter so you can grow kale and they love the cold temperatures. But anyhow, last fall I had a groundhog, he chewed his way through the row cover and uh, it was still early enough in the season that the, ground, uh, the groundhog did eat the top of some of my plants but uh, a lot of the plants were able to recover because it still had about another month of growth. But uh, with the kale you can grow it right through the winter. Uh, the nice thing about kale is once it, the frost hits the kale it turns nice and sweet. During the summer it gets a little bit bitter. Uh, that's the one reason I really love Swiss chard is that it uh, being, being in the spinach family it's a little sweeter uh, on your taste buds when you eat it. So anyhow let's uh, take a walk inside the greenhouse here. I did take out those cucumbers vines and so I have a little bit more space in here. You can see these rafters here are two by four rafters. They're about nine feet long. I attach them to the underside of my the overhang there. And the nice thing about building these lean-to greenhouses is they're very cost effective. I probably have about $150 worth of construction material here. You could probably build this on the weekend, have friends and family help you, borrow some tools from your friends if you need to, but it's very basic construction. I, uh, the, the vertical 2 by 4s down at the bottom there I anchored in concrete and these rafters here are spaced about 20, uh, they're spaced 32 inches apart. Over there in the corner I, I grew a cucumber plant that's actually a bush cucumber and that way it's not going to get real tall. It's been fun in this greenhouse experimenting with different vegetables. What amazes me is this cucumber plant here. I have the same one outside in my raised beds over there at the other section of the garden. Uh, this plant in here is probably twice the size of the other plant outside under the, under the, uh, out under the row cover where the bugs can get it and and it becomes diseased. But in here the, the plants just really flourish. Here in the corner I have more Swiss chard. These plants are probably a good two feet high. And again the Swiss chard and these greens are pick and come again. So as long as you continue to pick the outside leaves you'll continue, continue to have a harvest of greens right through the, the summer. And this here is the uh, curly leaf kale. Again, uh, pick and come again. You just continue to pick the outer leaves and you have a harvest straight through the summer. And what I have here on the, the uh, as soil here is I use uh, leaf mulch. It's a compost that I buy locally and it's uh, amended with topsoil. And so the, the plants do real well in here. I don't use any kind of animal products on my plants. I use no blood meal or, or um, the uh, bone uh, for the other plants. Uh, and so here on the left you see uh, the hose coming from the drums. It has a hose end, hose nozzle on there and so I simply plug the pump in at my outlet up there and I can water the plants very nicely here throughout the summer. And right now the temperature in here is about 90 degrees. I do have ventilation on that far end there as you can see. And behind me there's another vent. I also have a wall fan up there that I use. 
if I need to get some extra heat out of here. And I have that mounted on a temperature control up there on the wall. And also if you have any questions or comments or suggestions about this video, please feel free to leave it in the space below. There will also be a link provided for the utility pump and for these row covers for, for more information on this lean-to greenhouse. But what's nice being a lean-to greenhouse is that it's, you only need to build half of it. You know, I would say that greens that you see in this greenhouse would easily feed a family of four uh, throughout the summer. And these seeds, I probably have about a dollar's worth of seeds. And so it becomes very cost effective in feeding your family. I would really encourage you to, to go out there and get gardening. Uh, it's very enjoyable to plant these seeds and, and watch your plants grow. And I would encourage you to subscribe to this channel because my hopes is that we'll have more videos coming. I enjoy sharing the knowledge that I've gained all these years and sharing it with friends and families and other viewers. And so the outside of this building too, I used half inch wafer board or strand board. It's about $8 a sheet. The door I fashioned out of one by fours and used some hinges there and a door handle. And then I just applied an outdoor stain to everything so it kind of blends in with the woods. And then I applied some battens over the row covers as well. There will also be a, a link provided below for information on the row covers or the utility pump that I use for uh, delivering water from the pond up to this greenhouse. And so I hope this video has been helpful for you. I hope you've enjoyed it. It's always a pleasure for me to share this with you and it's exciting for me to, to be able to help others and to maybe save some money in doing so. And so I hope you have a good day. Hope you enjoy your gardening. This is Farmer Fred from Plant Smart Living. Have a nice day.